The US markets may have a little bit of volatility, which will affect crypto with some volatility. We'll cover all that and plenty more today. It's the 14th of August and this is your Crypto Daily Debrief. So quickly, Bitcoin's actually up 4.2%. Up it goes, ETH is up a little bit and Solana, we're just sitting down here just under 150. In my opinion, good time to keep on dollar cost averaging. All right, let's skip all the Bitcoin news for now and let's just go straight into Sol. And this is more of a bull post. Don't like too many bull posts because it doesn't keep us level-headed. Although then again, I bull post all the time. What I have really is, as opposed to just blind bull posting, it's it's conviction. It's a decent amount of conviction. So having a look here, Sol and ETH, this is essentially, you know, the same chart, uh, just different time frame. So it's similar to what ETH did in late 2020 prior to sending to new all-time highs. And if Solana manages a similar growth from the previous all-time high that ETH did, 1K Sol is a reasonable target. I just want to quickly explain how 1K Sol can actually happen. Because the thing is, Sol right now is $140. $145, there are people that bought it. Quite a few people have Sol under $20. So if you turn $20 into $1,000, it's a 50X. A 50X is absolutely massive. And then there's a, a decent amount of people that will be taking profit. So let's have a look at it like this. So let's say Sol hits $300. We may sell a little bit. $500, we may sell. Of course, with unstake from validator.com, where we are earning Staking rewards, we don't let our our staking go to waste by not staking at all. We always stake. And then 600, 700, et cetera. And then at 1,000, it could be quite a scary time because, you know, there's going to be a, a point around that mark where it will be a very good opportunity to short. Now, the reason why it would even get that price is because retail would start to flock in, flock in, flock in. We haven't actually seen retail flock in yet. We can see this with on-chain metrics and stuff using uh, like Coinbase institutional information, which suggests that right now it's VCs, private firms and whales that are making all this semi-excitement in the space. As soon as retail comes in, they come in blindly, just no idea what they're doing. They buy things and then that data is shown. It's obvious. You can see it on exchanges and you can see it in just many different data points, Twitter, etc., YouTube views, they all start to explode. And that's when the leverage long start to really explode. And that's what drives up the price. So that's how it gets up to that price. But at, at that price of $1,000, if we hit there, like I'm definitely hedging. And I will tell you all about that, even though I've got a video on it. But it'll be clear when we get to that stage, I will definitely hold people's hand with decent videos through that point. Basically, we'd start to short it in a way that's not leveraged. Anyway, that's the conviction and the reason why I actually do think Sol can hit 1K, but we will be taking profits, not financial advice before 1K. Next bit of news, a billion dollars worth of USDT has been minted at Tether Treasury. Whenever we see more of this, this means, you know, it's going to the markets. The Tether market cap typically dictates Bitcoin price. Expect the price to chase the Tether market cap, which is an all-time high. Now, at some stage, though, the Bitcoin dominance, which is, you know, the percentage of the market, the total market cap of all of crypto, it will start to drop. And when it starts to drop, the other alts will go down and Bitcoin may kind of, it, it might not do anything. We might not hit that 74K for a little bit of time. People have different viewpoints on this. We don't, we don't know what's going to happen. Ultimately, if Bitcoin goes up too hard, too fast, then the cycle just doesn't work. You don't pull enough people because people feel like they've missed the boat. So I don't necessarily think that Bitcoin's going to be something really worth diving into at this stage. I think we need to see when it starts to rotate into the alts. Alt season has not come yet. Now, despite the fact that Bitcoin is in a massive sideway movement since 74K, we know that Tethers keeps on printing more, ends up 13%. And usually Tether market cap needs to drop in a bear market or strong correction. However, this move indicates that Tethers have is heavily printing during the sideway for the next leg up. So other people disagree, better traders than I am, uh, significantly better traders. They do think we're going up. So this is one of those annoying things where I'm saying, well, I don't really do it, but there are there are YouTubers out there that say it could go up, it could go down, or it could go sideways. This is, well, well, which one do you actually think? I don't think Bitcoin's going to go up anytime before, say, breakpoint. I think we'll just be kind of floating around. And when I say go up, I don't think we're going to hit 74K. We don't know yet, but I think the billion is just sitting there and it's going to rotate into other things. Soul, I think Sui will get a bit of a run. Uh, I wish we got a little bit earlier. And now we, I need to find some decent entry there. 
But that's what I think is going to happen. I don't think Bitcoin is going to really pull it all in yet. Next bit of news, 3.30 p.m. UTC. Real talk, the dupe planetary call. This will be streamed on YouTube and it'll also be streamed on Twitter. Catch it. I've also done a video. The next big airdrop is here. D-Bridge, all you need to know. It's a pretty simple one, to be honest. You can speed watch this for sure and uh, essentially make sure that you are familiar with the D-Bridge token because I don't think it's going to terribly do well. One thing that was in the video as well, but I want to point out because you may have missed it. There was initially, if you have quite a few points, you will be in option one. You'll get 50% on token generation event and then 50% after six months, not vested just after six months. Now there's a new option, 80% claim on token generation event, 20% penalty you'll lose. That will go to these people that actually stick here around here. I've got a couple of wallets that are sitting in this in this you know 30k realm and at present I'm thinking pretty much all of them I'm going to take it and I'm just going to sell. I'm just going to sell DBR unless we can get some better clarification on on how this token is really going to help the economy. If it's going to go like I have conviction that this is the best bridge but are the tokenomics the best? Will the tokenomics go up? Like is there enough of the supply to actually reach some sort of price discovery. I, I'm not sold on that at all. And if we have a look at the tokenomics, the token release schedule says that after six months, core contributors and strategic partners will be getting, like, I don't know what the allocation is exactly here. It'll probably be uh, written down somewhere, but they'll be getting, you know, a, they'll start to get an unlock of their tokens, which means at six months, that's a, a very big kind of sell uh, signal. If we pop over to Wales market, We'll just have a quick look and we'll have a look and see what the actual price of DBR is doing right now because it was at three to four cents and now it's kind of dipped down. I'm not saying to go and sell it at this point. Maybe you want to go and sell like an allocation, $500, $1,000 if you've got that that amount. But it's just, it's a kind of a hard time to launch. We don't actually know what time the launch is. Once again, like I do like DBridge so much. It is the best bridge, but will the token do well? I'm not so sure. And if you have a watch my video, you'll see you know, my research that went into it. Some news from Sanctum. So this is a more of a reminder. If you did some good things with Sanctum, make sure you fill out this form, either if you're, you're labeled as a Sybil or for earnestness. You've gone to the 31st of August. You may as well do it now. I'll remind you a little bit later. But if you miss it, you miss it. And you could be eligible for Ernest. Next bit news, Camino. I'm pretty sure everyone that's watching this channel will be using Camino. USDE borrow caps opened up on the Athena Labs market. Now USDE is from Athena. Athena has their own like governance token and it went up, it went down. It's pretty new though. But how USDE is it? Is it accrues value? So when we have a look at this and it says borrow some USDE cheaply, currently 2% APY, you have to also be aware that the, the rate at which this actually go grows is like 12%. I don't know where we can find out exactly what the rate is. Maybe we can see Athena rate uh, USDE APY. Maybe there's a website which shows like what the, okay, the current rate is 9%. So you have to be aware of that. You're borrowing a stable coin that's going up in value. So I'm not super, super keen on that. Okay, this is not the best website for it. I'll need to find a better website. So you can go and borrow some and you can go and LP this and get this return. But I'm personally not a fan of borrowing USDE or SUSDE. One thing for sure though, is use Camino, like their growth is insane and all the other big ones, just negative growth. Their monthly supply growth down, Camino is up. Next, a little reminder, I'm going through wallets. I've got USDC sitting there and it's just sitting there. It's not doing terribly well. Remember, put into Lulo or even move some of that, do a swap on dupe and go and put it into PYUSD and then put it into Lulo or directly with your dApp if you prefer. 20% right now on PYUSD. So if you go and swap, it's going to cost you like 0.1%. So you just take $1,000, you get $999 and then you deploy it. Now, there are there's the occasional comment on, on videos that say something like, why would I do this? This is like, you know, you may as well just put on soul and stake it or do this or do this. Typically, when we're looking at portfolio, it's a good idea to keep 20% of your, this is not financial advice, 20% of your entire portfolio in stable coins. And you always try and maintain it at that level. So if things go up in value and all of a sudden your like your soul bag is worth 100,000 and you've got 10% of a stables, right? If you're just in two coins, then you'd sell some soul. And then if soul price goes down and all of a sudden you've got 30% of stables, you would go and buy some more things. So you do actually want stables. You may as well be earning 10, 20% on them by using Lulo or Drift or Camino or whatever you want. The point is use PYUSD and don't just let them sit idle. One really cool thing, as Raj has pointed out, is 
Solana can win without Ethereum losing. Imagine ultimately these markets may be much larger than any of us could ever imagine. And this is very true. Right now, it's hugely incentivized on Solana. And when you're giving away free money, of course, this is going to be the case. But ultimately, it is winning. It's a stablecoin that I personally like. Next bit of news, we're going to just nip quickly randomly off Solana and onto BASE. So last year, we went and minted some BASE tokens, some BASE introduced NFTs. This was with speculation that in the future, there would be an actual BASE governance token. Maybe we would, as an early adopter, be eligible for them. Now there's a new meme coin out. It's called BASE. You can go and claim some. We missed some phases. Phase one, phase two ended, and now phase three is ongoing, 25K. This isn't this isn't very much, like $4 or something quite minimal, but you may want to go and claim them if you actually minted some. Not going to cover it really ever again. It's not that important, but based devo.fun. I don't think this token's going to have what it takes to be like amazing, but this is what it is. It doesn't even show here, but based 19,000 followers and a 5 million market cap. Not buying it or doing anything like that. All I'm doing is uh, claiming, basically. Next bit of news. So, Bonk, if you put on some bets, I don't know exactly how this works. And I will admit that I really wish the actual communication from Lucky Dragon Tail was better. Lucky Dragon Tail, like, get in contact with me when there's stuff going out because I need to communicate it far better. But this, is, this was split 138 ways. Each winner walked away with decent amount of bonk you can go here annoyingly you can't work out which sports you actually entered to see if you have a return they give you the return just so you know uh on this occasion you can see the winners and say basketball which i entered i can't believe i how did i not get first prize i can't even i can't even see what i vote what i actually bet on which is a little bit annoying i wish we would be able to see that sort of stuff so uh bonk bet has a lot of work to do hopefully this helps us with our dragon tail Long story short, if you did win, you would get it sent to your wallet. If you didn't win, like down here, this is me, number 15. So everyone was basically first. 15 were first. They got a split of that. And then I'm down here, I guess, ultimately, I, I got a less points. And then I lost. Other news with Monkers, a Manta Network dual citizenship. If you did all this, you can go and claim some rewards. Nothing exciting over there, like $8 worth of rewards or less, $7. It's very, very low. The point is, maybe this also helps with, you know, getting that bonked dragon tail. And it's all about just learning something else. So I've got a video on this. Go and check it out. Next bit of news, and I think this is really cool. Welcome to the arena. This is with Margin Fire. Hasn't been able to claw back ever since their co-founder left and had a bit of a breakdown. Edgar, their like TVR has not done well in terms of a token. Don't know when it's coming. Probably in hindsight, it's going to be a good idea to actually keep on using Margin Fire. Just we don't know really what their, their stand is in terms of points. But the arena is where we can short a long short or hedge any token. There's a, a demo here by Master Zorgan, uh, whoever that is but from MarginFi. So with the arena, you can go in long or short these selected meme coins. There aren't a huge number of them. You can go and put a short on DJT. I don't see why this would even go up. I mean, this is a fake token, right? Go and short that if you want to short it. Any of these, you can short all long or you can hedge and you're hedging just by holding the token and then putting a short position on if you think it's not going to go up any further in value for the short term. Next news, pump.fun, 24-hour revenue is higher than those of the remaining top 20 protocols combined. This, of course, is because of the Elon Musk and Trump speech. I mean, the revenue is just absolutely insane. However, it's just rug city out there. So just keep in mind. Now, the pump.fun team, they have uh, been selling a lot of soul. So, hey, pump.fun team, make sure you stake some of that soul. If you're going to hold some soul, you may as well stake it. Stake it with us. Validate.com. That would be great. But you can see the revenue is absolutely insane. And now they've got like what is this, 70 something, uh, $80 million in their fee wallet. It's absolutely nuts. What they should be doing as well with that USDC is earning some revenue on it as well. Next bit of news is from the Hamster Combat team. So this is the game that we're playing on Telegram. I still jump in, I think, as a bit of daily alpha. If you jump into this game five times a day and just do the tasks, I think this would be worthwhile. I don't really want to go and cover a lot of ton games because there's like too many. It's basically airdrop farmers and my original thesis for this is kind of a little bit less i don't know how well it will do i won't be buying the token but if we manage to get an airdrop it could be worth like a thousand dollars or it could be worth the time and this is what you do when you just have a little bit of downtime either way they haven't taken any actual vc investment for this apparently that's what the case is i'm not sure if they're going to do a pre-sale or anything like that but this should be the largest airdrop in crypto history apparently because they have millions of players Finally, a little bit of a reminder here. If you have INF deposited with Mata Phi, this is a reminder to withdraw your INF from the protocol. 
Also with clone protocol, if you use it, go in with your, your assets there as well. I also want to show you the Solana crypto calendar each day, just so we can keep update with whatever's going on, because there's so many things that we are going to miss. So like, for example, here, still need to put into the calendar that there's a dupe planetary call. Just keep this bookmarked. Just go and bookmark it. It'll be linked below and have a look at these things. Solana auditors, bootcamp by Sol. Uh, some of these are going to be really relevant to you. Some of them aren't. Withdraw your funds from Amada. This is just an airdrop farming list. Airdrops farm as per CoinGecko, just something to put on your radar. And remember, your drift airdrop claim deadline ends August 16th, 6 p.m. with all those funds. Also, Infinex Paths, the patron, ends August 16th. Next week, we've got Simon's Cat meme launch, so on, Hackathon, X Founders Bootcamp. There's a few other things we have to add here, and this is going to go through a complete redesign and it will be the best Solana calendar hands down. Then remember we've got token 2049 and we also have Solana Breakpoint and the stake point MEV DeFi Day and the Network State Conference. This is all happening in Singapore. Got a video on this. Make sure you have watched that. And finally we've got Truffle. It's a giveaway alert. One Solana uh, NFT, Clanosaurs, Call Saga and three claim makers. They create NFTs so worth doing. Ends 19th of August at 12 p.m. All you have to do is just go like it and retweet it just like that. Action rules for the day. Do planetary call 3.30. Check your DBR allocation. Work out a strategy if you're going to sell. Maybe you want to sell some on Wales Market. Maybe you want to buy some on Wales Market. Watch my D-Bridge airdrop video. The Gito sold PYUSD vault on Camino 65% plus. Watch my breakpoint video. Withdraw your INF from Amada. Fi, remove liquidity from Clone, read their announcement, and the airdrop actionables, deposit into Camino's Soul Soul Meteor Pool, earn some met points just because if we go into deep pools right now, it requires a lot of work. Uh, check my airdrop.link video for airdrops, claim your drift tokens, you've got three days, get $50 to $100 worth of Flocky on BNB or ETH, not financial advice, and play Hamster Combat for like five minutes every day. They are my actionables.